You guys, welcome to a FIFA 16 hybrid squad builder and today in this unbeatable, incredible team. I've not played with a team better than this team this year. Um, the only issue with it, I'll come to it in a moment. So first up in goal, we do have Joe Hart, played 10 games with this team and uh, obviously he did get his upgrade yesterday, I believe. So um, you can get the upgraded card if you want. Haven't seen what the stat differences are like, but that card was incredible. Saved some incredible shots and uh, really kept us in the game. So... In the first centre-back position, we're going to go for the untradeable Otamende. Just sat in my club there. I just use him in a lot of squad builders just because he is really good. He's 75 pace, 86 defending, 82 physical. One of the better defenders on this game this year. And, uh, yeah, just does a really good job. Next to him, we're going to go into a new league, and it is going to be the Bundesliga. It is actually a transfer player, and it is Julio uh, Bodji from uh, Werder Bremen. Really good player, obviously. Senegalese, 72 pace, 78 defending, and 81 physical. Six foot four as well and does a great job. In the right back position, we're going to go for Gabriel uh, Gabriel Solis. Main reason is because of chemistry, you need to get that uh, strong link into uh, the centre back. So, yeah, he's, he's not the best, but he's a pretty good right back. He's he's one of the better ones in the Bundesliga. In the left back position, we're going to go for Gael Clichy from Manchester City. Obviously, getting the strong link as well with Otamendi. Two thousand coins, eighty four defending, uh, eighty four pace, eighty defending, and uh, sixty eight physical. Make him a really good defender. First up in the midfield, we're going to go back into the Bundesliga, and it is going to be Sane from Hanover 96. For 650 coins, this is the best holding midfielder you can get on this game. 6 foot 5, 80 defending, 80 physical, absolute rock in this mid midfield. The two of these Senegalese players in the midfield are absolutely incredible. And uh, the next one is in the BPO, and it is going to be Kuyate from um, West Ham. And as you can see there, ultimate team shut down and i'll come to that in a moment why that actually happened so yeah kuyate he only has one goal and one assist now he didn't actually get that he got about four or five goals in the 10 games i played but for some reason the goals and the assist didn't actually count with this squad so i was playing games getting goals winning like five six nil in about 10 games but none of the goals were counted so that's a little bit annoying next up in the midfield we're going to go for gonzalo castro you can go for gundogan if you want if you're extra bit of uh, skill not too sure if there's a different work rate. I think he's got high attacking, whereas Castro is a bit more of a uh, box to box midfielder with the medium medium work rates. In the right mid position, we're going to go for Herman the German. Now, this is where it clearly shows that they haven't counted the goals because he only got two goals in 10 games. He was banging in at least two a game. So I don't see where they came up with that with um, only two goals in 10 games. I, I really don't understand why it's done this. Um, obviously, there's some issues with Ultimate Team at the moment. In the left mid position, we got Jay Rodriguez from uh, Southampton. Again, only two goals in nine games. I think I actually played nine games with this team, not ten. Um, but still, I got a lot more than like two goals with these players. And uh, the final player in the team is Sado Mane. And this is the clear one. I scored a hat-trick in one of the games. And apparently, I, I think I did a squad builder um, on like Tuesday. And Mane had nine goals. Now he's got 12 goals. And I scored at least three in one game. So... Clearly, there's some issues with the A at the moment because if um, I look at the squad, all the players actually have 99 chemist, uh, fitness apart from the right back, Salisa. I actually tweeted about it last night. And um, yeah, there clearly is some issues, but there's no issues with playing with this team. I won every single game with it, all nine of them, and uh, it's absolutely incredible. Definitely would suggest it. Not the most expensive team in the world. It's quite cheap, so you may as well give it a go and see how you do with it as well. So if you do enjoy squad building, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And see you soon. Bye.